Um, hi everyone, I'm Jack Red, and I wanted to do a movie review on the Home Alone series. Um, first two were really good movies. Now, in a way, the third one is third best and second worst of the series, but I'll explain when I get to that. And the fourth one is completely dissat and really dreadful, in the words of Simon Cowell. First one has, um, Harry Goldman, Joe Pesci, and Daniel Stern. Really good movie. <laughs> Has really good plot to it. But my brother even um, did a part from there. You know, the guy who's simply in the L and well, no. The only difference is he's a screw instead of a nail. I then fall back. I was moving. They pulled it out. It wasn't part of the stuff. I was sticking on the stuff. He's pleasant there. God, I tell you, it was painful. We got to do my bell. Too good. Uh, Tim Curry and Rob Stein are there as well. And this one is also here. Third one. Kind of alterates. New kid. Or the new reason why he's standing home. And four feet. And so too. The reason why he's standing home isn't because he's forgotten. Forgotten to go. I like the breeze too long. You got chicken pox, Sam. And yeah, you can see the bad guys actually getting uh, chicken pox. <clears throat> and then he goes back to Kevin, and guess what? They, they have to go all the way up. I mean, it's clear it states in the movie that he has one brother and one sister. But if you pay attention to his ears, he's supposed to have two brothers and two sisters. And it upsets me very much. I hope they, if they ever do make a hole in five, they make up for the trash that four was. Three is decent enough to consider a, a movie we'll watch. Even though, in a sense, it's not a true hole in, like four is. But, um, the, the point is that, um, I, I recommend the first two and three if you're up for three. See ya.